Wacky Wednesday. From hairwigs made for dogs to Billy Bob teeth and pet rocks, we count 20 weird inventions that made millions of dollars. Number 20. Dog wigs. Believe it or not, finally, your dog can look like Bob Marley or Shirley Temple. Just go to your local costume shop and you can look just like your dog. Now this is either really cute or really weird, depending on which way you look at it. Either way, the person that started this company has made millions. Number 19. Nose straightener. Why waste your money on expensive nose jobs when you can buy the Electric Beauty High Lift Nose Vibrator that can do the same thing for less in the privacy of your own home? I don't know about anyone else, but this seems a little bit crazy. And to think this product went on to make millions of dollars. But who actually bought it? Number 18. Million Dollar Homepage. Million Dollar Homepage is a website conceived in 2005 by this guy, Alex Tu, a student from Wiltshire. England. He started the website to earn money for his university education. The homepage consists of a million pixels arranged in thousand by thousand pixel grids and the image based links were sold on it for one dollar per pixel. So times that by a million pixels and what do you have? A shitload of money. Number 17. The Floby. The Floby is an electronically powered vacuum cleaner attachment made for cutting hair. Sold in 1988, the product was advertised as being capable of performing hundreds of technical layered haircuts in late night television infomercials. And by the year 2000, 2 million of these Flobies had been sold. Number 16. Beanie Babies. Beanie Babies are a line of popular stuffed animals made in the early 1990s. Each toy had an inopposable lining and was stuffed with plastic pellets or beans. Some people even said that they were baked beans, giving the Beanie Baby a flexible but squishy feel. But whatever they were made out of made a lot of money. Number 15. The Wacky Wool Walker. The Wacky Wool Walker was a toy modelled out of sticky gooey material and it was shaped similar to an octopus or a spider and when thrown against a wall it would walk its way down. It was a hugely popular toy in the 1980s and made tens of millions of dollars. Number 14. Silly Bands. Silly Bands are rubber bands made of silicone rubber formed into shapes including animal objects, numbers and letters and are normally worn as bracelets and a pack of 24 sells for around $5 and these silly bands have been banned from some classrooms for being a distraction. There have been incidents where children have caused serious injuries by extending too many silly bands up their arms cutting off their circulation. Number 13 Head On. Head On is the brand name for a topical product claiming to relieve headaches. It achieved widespread notoriety in 2006 as a result of a repetitive commercial consisting only of the tagline Head On, applied directly to the forehead stated three times in succession. Supposedly you would rub this on your forehead to get rid of headaches. Placebo effect? Anyone? Number 12. Antenna balls. Antenna balls are those silly little faces or characters that you might find on top of car antennas. Years ago people would do this to personalise their vehicle, although most of them look absolutely ridiculous and all of them serve no purpose whatsoever. So it's hard to fathom just how this company made millions of dollars. Number 11. Santa Mail. Every year millions of children around the globe send letters to Santa and hope for a response. A person by the name Byron Reese realized the potential of this in the market in 2002. He launched Santa Mail, a service that allowed kids to send letters to the North Pole. Parents would simply enclose a small fee of just $9.95 and little Johnny or Jane received a personalized letter from the big man. Number 10. Magic 8-Ball. While Magic 8-Ball didn't exist in its current form until 1950, the Magic 8-Ball is a toy used for fortune telling and seeking advice. Made by Mattel and developed in the 1950s, used for giving very accurate and very inaccurate or otherwise statistically improbable answers. Number 9. Furby. For you that don't know, a Furby is an electronic robotic toy resembling a hamster or owl-like creature that everybody in the 90s paid too much for. It went through a period of being a must-have toy following its launch in the holiday season of 1998. With continual sales until the year 2000, over 40 million Furbies were sold during its three years of original production. Number 8. 
Kushbu. The Kushbu was a toy made out of rubber filaments or strings attached to a soft rubber core. It was developed in 1986 by a man named Scott Stillinger to be easy for his five year old daughter and eight year old son to hold and throw and was named after the sound it made when it landed and went on to make millions. Number seven. Tamagotchi. The Tamagotchi is a handheld digital pet created in Japan and was first sold by Bandai in 1996. And as of 2010, over 76 million Tamagotchis have been sold worldwide. Most Tamagotchis are housed in a small egg-shaped computer with an interface usually consisting of just three buttons. By God, have the kids of today got it good. Number six. Doggles. Doggles are a commercial brand of sunglasses for dogs in the form of tinted goggles designed to fit the shape of a dog's head. While marketed as a fashion item, several practical and medical uses have been reported and prescription lenses for dogs with impaired eyesight are available too. This really does go to show there's no limit to what people will spend on their dogs. Number 5. Snuggy. Of course we've all seen the Snuggy, and it's a sleeved blanket for men or women with sleeves usually made from fleece. It's similar to a bathrobe but is meant to be worn backwards. The product has been marketed by various brands such as the Snuggy, the Snuggler, Dujo, Toasty Wrap and Slanket. The Snuggy initially sold for $14.95 but later in sets of two for 20 bucks. Number 4. The Plastic Wishbone. Who would have guessed that the world was waiting for a revolutionary advance in plastic wishbone technology? Ken R. Honey, founder and inventor of Lucky Break Wishbone Corp. That's who. The idea to manufacture and sell fake wishbones came to the merry thought maven during an argument over who would get the wishbone. Now everyone, even vegans, can have a wishbone for themselves. The company sells millions of these each and every year at the rate of 4 for $3.99 or even 400 for $195. Number 3. Billy Bob Teeth. Call it innocent fun or revenge on your parents. These dirty dentures have sold more than 15 million units since 1994 and as of 1998 have grossed $1.8 million. I used to have some of these. Why did I buy Number 2. Big Mouth Billy Bass. Big Mouth Billy Bass is an animatronic singing prop representing a largemouth bass, made purely to annoy the heck out of your house guests. Invented in 1998, it turns its head towards a person, faces them, and wiggles its tail as it sings an annoying, bloody annoying song. Don't ever buy one. Number 1. Pet Rock. What is arguably the weirdest invention of all time to make millions of dollars? And it really wasn't a invention at all. You see, a guy named Gary, an advertising executive from California, purchased ordinary grey pebbles from a construction supplier and sold them as pets. The Pet Rock debuted in 1975 for a price of $4. That's about $16 in today's money. Gary sold more than 5 million of these pet rocks, raking in the equivalent of $56 million in today's money. 